This is my spider stick. There are many others, but this is mine. This is my cat who wants to join me outside. But back to the spider stick. You guys may have heard me speak about this thing from time to time. I tell you guys I'm out here looking like a wizard doing incantations. Well, I'm about to show you guys what that looks like. Now, the reason I do that is because I'm terrified of spiders and around this time of year they build their, their webs to catch all the nasty little bugs that are flying around. But man, these suckers build from my eaves to the fence. I've walked into some super, super long spider webs and then I'm terrified that there are spiders on me. Uh, so I clear the way ahead of me before I walk in. I'm actually coming back here to try and hammer down that pole that I have my little plants hanging on. I'm going to try and hammer it straight, see if I can, but I had to clear my path. I still got to clear my path, my path, my path some this way so as not to be surprised. So... Since they cut the tree and the canopy came off, I don't think I should run into too many. <laughs> Prime example, guys. Let me show y'all what I'm out here doing the wizard stick for. Can y'all see the string? Can y'all see that fine string? So that means, oh, that's a big one. That is a web. See, and I would have walked, hey, where does this start though? Where does this start? Where's the spider? I would have walked right into it. Do y'all see it? Do y'all see the web? Do y'all see it? Where's the spider though? See, and I hate looking it's attached to the dang pole that I'm gonna come straight and Where's the spider? I hate to destroy their little home, but I got stuff to do. How big is it? I see, I see some of it. Ugh, I'm gonna have to knock it down, guys. So where is it? Y'all ready? We're gonna knock it down. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Oh, there's a little spider here somewhere. Wow, it's all up on here. And then I gotta keep an eye out for the friggin' spider. Cause I know it's out here somewhere. But like I said, I got stuff to do. I can't be fooling around out here with spiders. Okay, it's back up. It's still a little crooked here. I hammered it out as best as I could and it's bowing a little, but that's okay because it's okay. Um, I'm hoping it'll hang this time. I gotta take the water hose and give everything a quick rinse off. But I want to see if I grew any garlic because if not we're throwing that little planter of soil over there in that little bin where I have my use again soil. So my understanding is when it's dead like this it's time to dig up. So I had three in here. Let's see if anything happened. This is very depressing. If this is telling of what was going to grow for garlic, then what the heck are my taters doing? Where's the other one? Smells like garlic. That ain't no dang garlic clove. The third one's in here somewhere. Surely didn't do anything. Well, 
put these right here in my half to bag and trash pile. And since nothing happened, this soil is going chia. To dry out some and we use for something else. I want to go in here and root around but I told my big dude I'd wait for him. See, there's one right here. Oh there's one right here. Should I? Should I? Oh I'm already here. <laughs> I'm so sad. Okay, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them be. We might not end up with any taters either. I've heard people in the North Texas gardening with all this rain, they've done the same thing. Let the greenery die back. They go in and there's nothing. I'm hot. I need to go in. The mosquitoes are bad. It's only nine in the morning and mosquitoes are bad. And then I go inside and the gnats are bad. So, oh, the, but the mosquitoes are super bad, guys. Y'all see them right by my door, so I'm going to have to go back to Home Depot and pull, buy some of that um, yard sprinkle stuff that uh, you put in the yard and let it rain down so the mosquito eggs and larvae die. Oh, hold on. While we're out here, hold up. This is part of what we got at the bins. This is a wastebasket I picked up for little dude's bathroom. I need to... Uh, disinfect it and wash it and then these two plant stands also came from the bins uh, I'm gonna wash them up and spray paint them because y'all know I can definitely use these matter of fact let me get a drink of water let's go inside and do that little haul They adorable. They're so cute. But they ain't $7.99 worth cute. Oh, look at that. Baby showers, birthday parties, little cupcake holder. That's sweet. What is this $7.99? What is this? What are these? Torture devices? I see a Christmas tree. Sloth, and I left it over there, and I know where I left it. Why do you want a plush sloth? It looks cool, like the like the fur on it looks cool. Look at this teapot. It gives Disney vibes. Yep.
and then somebody yells at them and the parents get mad. So let's get into the haul of it all. It's not a whole lot of stuff, but it's from a few different places. So I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I got at the bins. It wasn't a whole lot. Uh, I did find these Thinsulate gloves. Um, I don't know why they didn't sell in the store. They were tagged at $3.99 and they didn't sell, so they ended up in the bins. And I got these from a big dude. We have these scattered all over the friggin' house, but then when you need a pair of gloves, you can never find them, like my gardening gloves. But I grabbed these for him. I found this pretty vase. I like the little design up here. It kind of looks like a lily. I don't know. It gives me lily vibes. But the reason I got it is because this is going to be dedicated to my little sunflowers. Like, I try really, really hard to be careful with my sunflowers. But they get real top heavy when they bloom open. And some of them are toppling over. And instead of leaving them on the grass to get gross, I clip them. And right now I have one sitting in the kitchen. There's one already on the ground again, so I'm going to clip that one, and I'm going to set them in here. So this is going to be my sunflower vase. I thought it was nice. Once I get it all clean and shiny, it's going to be pretty. Then the only other thing I found at the bins, <sighs> you guys, look at this old Bible. The, 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 the lettering is tiny. But it's old. It was printed in 1944. New York. Oh, New York, November 3rd, 1943. So this is 80 years old. Like my mommy. It's 80 years old like my mama. And I couldn't resist it. I love old books. But an old Bible? Are you kidding me? I hope it's not haunted. I mean, a Bible can't be evil but what if it was used to ward off evil and now they're what if there's i don't know what if there's i hope there's nothing spooky attached to it but look at it i grabbed that and aside from the little things that i showed you guys the 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 plant stands that's everything that i got at the bins and then we went into the store and inside the store again not much this needs a good cleaning but it's another one. I'm Texan. I'm a proud Texan. And I love this kind of stuff. And it goes well with the crap I got going on in the house. So this one is going to sit on this table. I think so. On this table. So I'm going to have to find a way to perch you guys somewhere differently. But I just loved it. Anytime I see a star, I'm like, ooh, I like it. And it's all wrought irony and, and rusty crusty. And I love it. And it was four. 99 grabbed him and then for some reason both of my boys love slots i don't know what it is i think it's because i wonder if it's because when they were little i used to take him to the zoo and i used to take him to the dallas world aquarium and at the dallas world aquarium they had a sloth up in the tree you weren't allowed to touch it but there was a sloth up in the tree and they both loved to just sit under that tree and watch that sloth and then at the zoo well they have the little petting zoo stuff and the sloth is probably one of the first little pets that a child pets if you take them to the zoo you know the little goats and the little cows and everything but as far as like an exotic pet am i right have you guys taken your babies your grandbabies to the zoo do y'all have have they been able to pet a sloth it's the neatest thing so they're obsessed it's so cute with little dude it's still kind of cute because he's still he's still a little little but you know but my big dude, I, I always crack up whenever he sees a sloth, like we're watching TV or whatever. And it, he, for a moment, he becomes a little boy excited as he gets about a sloth. I say all that to say, little dude saw it. He fell in love with it. He's like, you think it'll wash good? I hope it washes okay. Because I don't know about this soft fur. But it was $3.99. And I probably wouldn't have paid that for no stuffy. But he really liked it. And like I said, it just, it's just it's a little special place in my heart with these boys and sloths and then my oldest with penguins. 
I don't know what that's about either. But anyway, the only other thing I picked up there, man, I loved it. I need to do a little wood filler in here because somebody nailed it to the wall through the actual wood. But it reads, Jesus saved, Southern raised. Isn't that awesome? I loved it. Now, at one point, somebody stuck these little sticky tabs on it, but probably after they pierced it. So I'm thinking with some little uh, wood putty, it should be okay because it doesn't take away from the lettering. But I thought that was stinking amazeballs. And it was also $4.99. And the only other stuff I picked up thrifting was at Thrift Town. Forgot to show y'all this stand as well. It was actually in my front seat. It's super rusty, but it's metal scrolly goodness. It's this pretty plant stand, but it's all adorned with ivy and light. They probably used it maybe in a wedding or something. And I was just going to take the scissors to it and strip everything off. And I thought I would try the lights and the lights work. So I'm definitely going to unwind the lights, cut off the ivy. And we're going to use this plant stand for what it's intended for, to hold a plant. Because I have a whole bunch of them out here that I think would look really pretty in this thing. You guys, it took forever to get all that stuff unwound from it. But now I can really see how rusty it really, really is. But it's still a great deal at $5.99. I can't wait to juge it up. Little dude wanted to go. He's holding out hope that they'll go back to the way they used to be in regards to the inventory of stuff that he likes to dig through. Night. So he walked away with nothing. He didn't find anything, but I was just there the other day, remember? <sighs> and I brought home something that was there the other day that I left behind, but I kept thinking about and it was still there. So I went ahead and picked up this pretty little crystal shade. And I have a, what do they call the candlestick lamp things outside that, um, outside in the garage. And this will go nestled perfectly on the little bulb it takes. It's just a little accent, uh, lamp that, that's out there. And it's been sitting out there with no shade because I couldn't find a shade small enough. And when I was there this time, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. This is perfect. And the base of that little lamp is white. So white and a little crystal I think is going to be pretty. But I couldn't leave it behind this go around. I would know I would have regretted it. And it was $3.99. So that came home with me. Their tags to, today, well, their, their tags this week were pink and purple. One was 50% off, one was 75% off. I can't remember what color was what. But I usually will take a picture. If you guys really notice, when I go into Thrift Town, I'll take a picture of the color tags. And it's usually how my videos start. Well, that day, yesterday of all days, I'm like, man, I ain't going to take no freaking picture. What's the point? I don't never find nothing color tagged anyway. You guys. I found a pink tag, okay? It is the, um, oh, what is that candle? Yankee Candle Shade. And I use, I don't burn candles anymore. I burn wax. I melt wax. I don't burn candles anymore. But for a Mickey Shade... I might, I might, I might get me a candle. Can I help you? I might get me a candle, guys. Isn't that sweet? And it was $4.99. So it was either 50 or 75% off. If my mind is recalling correctly, I think pink, because it was on this side, was 50% off. And purple was 75% off. But I got this pink baby. And I found another pot, guys. I found another blue pot from my living room. Now, this one is actually going to fit one of my plants perfectly. I'm about to drop it in here right now. Because uh, I keep checking my plants just to be sure that the little bugs aren't in the plants. Nan, one of my plants has bugs in it. Aren't those bugs supposed to like wet, moist things? So something tells me I may not have a nice, friendly plant variety gnat. I have a nasty, disgusting caca gnat. But anywho, the only reason I got this pot, guys, is because it was purple. So it was I think it was 75% off of $3.99. But it's going to go nice with my little collection that I'm getting from my little potted plants over there. And 
I grabbed this. I thought it was lovely. Um, with God, all things are possible. It's this metal little uh, sign. Hobby Lobby was selling it for $14.99. And Thrift Town was selling it for... Ah, the lighting for $2.99. So I grabbed it. I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it. And I don't want to get into the habit of picking up things just because without having a home for it. So I need to really look around closely, see if I'm going to pull something to put this on. Um, or what. But I just thought it was pretty. I saw the cross first and then I read what it said. So I'm like, oh, I like it. And I like that it's that red. It's that pretty red. I'm sorry, I had a thought. Um, but that is everything that I picked up thrifting. And then I told you guys that I... I uh, had to go out and pick up a few things, uh, kitty litter and, and bug stuff uh, yesterday. And I went by the Black Friday. Okay. I found another one of these. We don't need any more of these. But because they're in the package new, I'm thinking about selling them, honestly. This is a mini Bear Grylls. Remember the bigger one I had? Uh, in the package the last time we went, this is the bigger Bear Grylls and, I mean the smaller Bear Grylls, $4 and I think it retails for about as much as the mid-size one that I got last time. Okay, and then, I love when things are still in the box, when they didn't manhandle it. This is one of these uh, over-the-door pantry organizers. I currently have two in my little laundry closet because that's slash laundry slash pantry. And, oh, it's one of these. See? You hang it over the door. And I'm thinking about using this one in the bathroom, actually, to hold the extra shampoo and stuff like that. Uh, extra deodorants when I find anything on sale. Some of my body sprays I just don't have room on the counter for, so they're kind of sitting on a shelf, and then I have to move them when we want towels. So I think this is going to be perfect in the, the, the linen closet upstairs for all the little extra toiletries and stuff we have. So grab that. I thought that was a good price for four dollars. I found this lovely. Now this isn't really my style, but it's pretty. So pretty. This is a three-piece quilt with two shams. Uh, brand new, still in the pack. And um, it's a full queen. I have a full size bed. Uh, and I just thought it was really pretty. I like I like the colors on it. Brand new for $4, guys. And I had put it back a couple of times, but I'm like, no. If I don't use it, it would be a nice little surprise gift for somebody. It'll be a nice, oh my gosh, I didn't get somebody a gift for Christmas kind of thing. Uh, Secret Santa. I don't know. I just think it's a good a good deal. It's never been opened. It's still sealed. Brand new. It's a, it's a lovely little thing. So I grabbed that. And then the thing that I told you guys I had been wanting, but I couldn't find a complete one at the thrift store. I saw this. They brought out new bins. And they make you stand back like hands off. And they have the little sheet over it. And then they blow the, the air siren, air horn. And then you can go for it. And I saw it. They take the, the, the cover off. And then you have to wait until they blow the horn. And I saw it. And I'm like, I'll cut somebody for it. No, I wouldn't. Uh, but I wanted it. And there was a lady right next to me, and I kind of saw her. I thought she was looking at it as well. And she was, because when they blew that horn, we both went for it. I wasn't going to let it go. I was going to be nice about it, but I wasn't going to let it go. And she was being nice and didn't want to let it go. But then she finally said, it's okay, it's okay, you can have it. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much. Because I really wanted one of these. It's this thing. The handheld steam cleaner. I loathe cleaning toilets. I never let my toilets get filthy to where I'm like Hoo, trying to clean them, but I don't like cleaning them. You know what goes in there, okay? I don't like cleaning toilets. I It makes me sick. And I had been wanting one of these just to get all up in there, all up in the cracks and the crevices and all the little this and that and this and that to get a really, really good clean on it. That's why I wanted it. Uh, also for like any sticky stains on the kitchen floor or anything like that I, I, I just wanted one guys I've just always wanted one and I finally found one for four dollars and it's still sealed the seal hasn't been broken the box is a little 
uh, beat up. Yeah, the box is a little beat up right there, see? But it's still sealed. So I definitely know everything's in it. But that's everything, guys. I chose. I moved y'all. I'm sorry. Y'all okay? Did it hurt? Um, but that's everything. I am going to put my bra back on. And then um, go pick up little dude. I have to go to Walmart. He's out of milk. He has one. I got to go hunt down some shakes. Um, I want to look into those little indoor electric bug zappers. Because a lot of people are telling me to try some of those. Uh, I also want to look, probably not at Walmart, I'll probably have to go to Home Depot tomorrow. I'm trying to find something, I can't even pronounce it, Di Diamaticus Earth, Dia Diamatic, I think it's Diamaticus, Diacastamus, some kind of earth um, that is supposed to be real good at killing bugs, like almost on contact. So some people are saying sprinkle that into your kitty litter, just be careful with how much because the dust can cause respiratory issues and kitty cats and i'm like oh i swear i don't want to go from one problem to another but yeah something something's got to give uh and they're saying to sprinkle it along the edges of your wall uh in case you know anything is living all up in the crevices that diamaticus whatever earth um will kill it some people swear by it other people say it doesn't work but um yeah, I need to do something. It is evident, very, very obvious, the kitties are very bothered by the bugs in their food because their food is lasting. Their food usually doesn't last. Their food... I'm sorry, was that thunder? It's supposed to rain some, but the sun is shining. Not that that matters because a lot of times it rains while the sun is shining. They say that means that the devil is beating his wife. At least in the south, that's what they say. But anyway, I thought I heard thunder. Uh, yeah, they're not eating. They're not eating the way... They are used to eating because these annoying bugs are everywhere. Oh, you guys, you know that stick I showed you? That sticky stick that I had by their food bowls? I swear, Bobo ain't nothing but trouble. I don't know how he has managed twice today, twice, to get that stuck on him. And I have them behind the bowls far enough away where if there's any scent, it doesn't bother them. Or so they don't stick to it. He found a way to stick to it twice and it sticks on him and he's running like a lunatic all around the house and, and then I gotta like corral him to pull it off and it's like ugh, I'm over it but anywho I hope you guys are having a good Monday did I say that on the last video yeah hope you guys are having a good Monday excuse me I hope you guys roll into a fantastic Tuesday. And uh, until my next go around, you guys, wish me luck with these nasty critters. Wish me luck. Give me suggestions. Tell me, am I the only one that is going through this? Um, but until my next go around, guys, I love y'all bunches. Bye.